What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John and we have some very exciting news regarding Marvel Studios Blade because we all saw that dope post credit scene in Marvel Studios Eternals, one of my favorite parts of that movie and we were all wondering what was going to happen with Dane Whitman aka Black Knight and the Ebony Blade. Well now we have confirmation from an Eternals VFX supervisor that the Ebony Blade will indeed make an appearance within this Blade reboot. So Stephanie Soretti is the VFX supervisor for Eternals and she basically shared a story with comicbook.com that she told her friend Martin Larson that he's going to be handling this Ebony Blade as a gift that he's going to have to continue this storyline teased in Eternals and that he's going to do an even better job with this Ebony Blade because he's a supervisor on the new Blade movie. So that's confirmation that this Ebony Blade storyline will be continued into this movie. So naturally the question is, will Kid Harrington's Dane Whitman return in this movie as well? Because it could easily be a cameo in this Blade movie where Blade picks up the Ebony Blade and then leaves. So he won't be a supporting role in this movie. But I am of the belief that he will return in this movie just because I, I feel like Marvel Studios loves to have that buddy cop dynamic and it'd be a great opportunity to flesh out this character even more and to explore his his backstory, his history. Where's this Ebony Blade been? What's the significance of it? You know, I really liked Kid Harrington in Eternals and I wanted more of him. So I feel like Marvel Studios would seize this opportunity. And this is Blade's movie. Mahershala Ali is going to crush it. I'm so excited to see what he does with this role. This is his movie. I still want him to shine and have these badass moments. But having Black Knight potentially suit up and have these cool action scenes with Blade, I mean, talk about epic. I would love that and with the ebony blades inclusion this movie is already shaping up to be different from the wesley snipes movies so i like that i like how we're having more mcu connections fitting him within this universe i like that also there's this rumored casting call that released a while ago and it had a description for excalibur which in the comics is dane whitman's love interest so we might get that dynamic in this film. So if that casting call is proven to be right, then that just backs up that Dane Whitman will be in this movie. If, you know, Marvel Studios is going to go for that comic accuracy, putting those two together. But regardless, I'm super unbelievably hyped for Blade. I feel like it'll have some of the best action of the MCU. Mahershala Ali is just going to be so great in this role. If anybody could top Wesley Snipes, it's him because he's such a great actor. And I just can't wait to see the supernatural side of the MCU. We're getting Moon Knight and just seeing Blade cross over with other heroes. I, that's just going to be so cool to see. I'm hyped. Everything that we're hearing right now sounds really cool. And I'm, I'm just super excited for this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about Dane Whitman and the Ebony Blade more than likely being in this Blade movie? Do you like the idea of a team up between blade and black knight let me know your thoughts in the comments down below please remember to like share comment and subscribe that will be all for me remember my catchphrase guys stay super wise